James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had another M class solar flare, this time an M1.35. Although it was heavily eclipsed by the incoming limb of our sun, this occurred about 8.40 UTC time, so just before 2 a.m. last night, Central Time here in the U.S. And again, this is from an unnamed sunspot group, yet another one that's going crazy. So very shortly, we'll have three crazy Earth-facing sunspot groups. One has become more complex, 4191 in the last hour or two, it is now Beta Gamma. This M flare that was nowhere near Earth facing, again eclipsed by the incoming limb of the Sun, also pushes further into a polar cap absorption event. Radiation is pouring into the North and South Poles currently. All right, this event has not been covered at Space Weather Live. The last M flare, the M1.9, was from an unnamed sunspot group, which is now named AR4195. So, in fact, the M19 sunspot group did come around the limb. This was probably a much stronger event than an M1.9. It caused a proton storm, which, in fact, started our polar cap absorption event which has now been reinforced by another M flare, which was mostly eclipsed by the incoming limb. If these had not been eclipsed by the limb, we'd be in some serious trouble here on planet Earth. Now these numbers are going to jump drastically tomorrow. Today we only had a 5% chance of an X-class solar flare and a 35% chance of an M-class solar flare. Those will both double by tomorrow, running a C baseline, so we do have that 99% chance of having a C solar flare. Over to HMI Intensicram, we have six named or numbered sunspots that are on the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. Most of them are simple sunspots, although 4195 doesn't look very simple to me. We've had 41. 91 morph into a beta gamma sunspot the last few hours it's become dangerous and the sunspot that generated the flare that we just had is actually located right about here and i will show it to y'all and show you all the flare here uh, 4195 is responsible for the two large well the M1.8 and M1.9 solar flares that were eclipsed by the limb yesterday. And is most probably responsible for the huge halo CME that occurred three days ago on the back side of the sun. Over to GOES Proton Flux. We can see we're almost breaking into a space weather situation with our proton flux. Looks like we have the 10 million volt line moving up into a space weather position. It was just reinforced by the M flare that was eclipsed by the incoming limb of the sun, believe it or not. If any of these hadn't been eclipsed by that incoming limb, this thing would have shot off the hook already. We can also see some movement out of the 50 million volt line here in blue, although not very much. If the three M flares wouldn't have been eclipsed by the incoming limb, well, obviously we'd be in a heavy proton storm and the pole cap absorption event would be much worse than it currently is. Again, we're about to have three Earth-facing, dangerous sunspot groups. All right, headed over to GOES-19. This is, believe it or not, the M1.35 solar flare 
Again, you can see it's mostly eclipsed by that incoming limb, or it would have been a much stronger flare. This is AR4195 and AR4191, which has become much more complex over the last few hours, i.e. Beta Gamma. These two sunspots look like they're going to be heck, to say the least. All right, what does this tell us? This tells us that we're in a polar cap absorption event. You can tell by the radiation coming into our North Pole. Our poles are not guarded. The South and North Poles are not guarded by our Van Allen belts. They originate from around the poles, and those are the easiest way for x-rays to light up this planet. Now, this is not an end-of-the-world polar cap absorption event, as you can see. This could be much worse, and it very well might become much worse. But in fact, and it is becoming much worse, but in fact, as you can see, we've been in it for 24 hours, and it seems like it's continuing and worsening. All right, taking a look at the back side of the sun here. This is one of the sunspots that's already been named. You can see that this is a day and a half old. It's going to end up being two different sunspots. This is going to be, or already has been named, AR4145. And I don't know uh, well how this one will be named. But this is what just caused the M1.35 solar flare, which was probably much stronger. We also have... 019 to deal with and 020. Now, 019 looks like a ferocious sunspot group as well. All right, over to STO HMI magnetogram. This was taken, it looks like, last night, and this is AR4195, AR. 4191, which is now beta gamma, and you can just barely see uh, the new sunspot coming around the limb here that, well, just popped off the M flare. We'll be able to see it much better on Soho 284 angstroms right here. And there you go. This was taken at 606 this morning make sure that's correct that is correct central time here in the u.s and you can see four one nine one four one nine five this is all moved a little bit more around the disc it takes 12 days for one of these sunspots to move across the earth's side of the solar disc and you can now see that sunspot here that's acting up. Well, it's been acting up all day. That was just the first time our goes caught it, producing an M1.35. It's going to be a September to remember, to say the very least. With that said, folks, buckle up. Based on what's going on, I would expect solar events over the next 12 plus days. We currently have a geomagnetic connection to Pluto, Sirius, Saturn, Neptune, and Eris. And I will say that a good, a good date to keep in mind uh, could in fact be the 27, 26, another good day to keep in mind is definitely, definitely going to be the 9th of September, maybe the 10th, but the 9th, and that moon lines up with Saturn and Neptune behind us and the sun in front of us and Mercury opposing. So they let us take it around any more. And they do another huge date is going to be September 21st. So let's go with September 9th and 21st as two dates that we might see large upticks with earthquake and volcanic activity. And 
we'll say that we're going to see solar activity ongoing for the next several months. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.